Hello everyone and welcome to Momentum channel. My name is Mo and in this video as part of our weekly uh, stock market investment challenge that we have with Wealth Simple Trade, we are going to provide another weekly update. Uh, for those of you who've been following us or if you're new to the channel, you know that we have a small account investment challenge where the goal is to grow this uh, account from a mere $5,000 all the way to a quarter of a million dollars within the next eight to nine years that's really our goal here and we've made quite a good progress so as part of this weekly review what we will do we'll walk you through exactly the transactions that we've had over the past week uh, what stocks or etfs we bought what stocks or ETFs we have sold and what are the dividend income that we earned in this account and what is exactly our strategy when it comes to really wanting to grow this account and portfolio to that quarter of a million dollars over the next couple of years what we also do typically is we'll walk you through transparently uh, um, and show you exactly what have been our uh, stock returns in this account over different time periods in terms of the past week past last trading day past months and the one year return that is very transparently to share with you and also we'll walk you through exactly the holdings that we have within our account how many shares we have and what has been their overall return so really the goal is Give you that inspiration and idea of how you've been performing not really to influence your decision in terms of what stocks or ETFs you're going to buy but rather giving you the information of what are some of the thought process that goes into play in our account and how we intend to grow this account i really hope this video is beneficial to you and gain something of value from it uh, before we get into this video i really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up if you gain something of value from it it really helps us a lot to grow the channel and uh, hopefully reach out to more like-minded individuals who are into stock market investing and investing in financial for with that let's get into this video all right as you notice here on the screen we are showing with you the last state of our personal investment account here with us symbol trade the overall value is sitting at sixteen thousand five hundred and seventy seven dollars and the past one month return as you see here on the screen is showing a negative two percent if we hover over to one week return though it is showing a almost a stagnant performance at zero percent it was up by forty three dollars the past trading day today, it was up by $72. Now, if we go to a longer term period, the past three months, we are showing an up um, side of 1%. The, the balance of the account grew by 1%. And our one-year return is now showing an overall one-year return of 35%. Not bad at all for a one-year return, I would say. All right, let us carry on and dive deeper into the, our overall holdings in this to, in this account and what uh, stocks and ETFs we own here. We currently have six shares of Apple, and these are showing a positive return of 7.42%. We own seven shares of Bristol Myers, which is showing a positive return of 27.18%. We are maintaining our 15 shares of Bank of Nova Scotia. It is showing a positive return of 25%. With Salesforce, it has had a very good return this week. And in fact, our three shares are now showing a positive return of 16% plus. Corsair, we have nine shares. It is showing a negative 15% return. We would consider adding to our shares of Corsair to take advantage of the lower costs. Um, sometimes it really, we've had some um, limit buy orders, but they haven't been fulfilled. So we'll continue to have that approach with Corsair and take advantage of dollar cost averaging. With our Emerge, uh, ETFs, which are the Canadian version of ARK Invest ETFs. Uh, here, we've tried to take advantage of the lower prices over this past week and continue to add more to our shares. With EAFT, now we have 13 shares. It is showing a negative 7.92%. With EAGB or ARK Genomics and Biotech ETF, we now have 26 shares and it's showing a negative 10% return. And with EARK or Emerge ARK Global Disruptive Innovation, we now have 37 shares. And these 37 shares are showing a total return of negative 11%. Gilead Sciences, we still maintain our four shares. It is showing a positive return of 3.15%. It is a dividend paying stock in the USD. So we don't really necessarily want to add more, but are happy with maintaining these four shares at this time and, and kind of collecting the dividend income that comes every quarter. HCLN, we've tried to add more and take advantage of dollar cost average. It is an ETF, Harvest Clean Energy ETF. The 21 shares is now showing a negative 5.31% return. Pfizer is still maintaining our 21%, another pharmaceutical healthcare stock. It's in positive return. 
it had a little bit of pullback so the positive return is now a little bit less than what it was before but it's still showing a positive return of 18.65 percent it is a dividend paying company we love uh, pfizer's uh, quarterly dividend which is a solid dividend pair and main plan to maintain this in our portfolio no plan to sell at this time palantir technologies uh, we have 10 shares at one point it was actually hovering at the negative territory. We had some limit buy orders for it, but it didn't get fulfilled. And now it's kind of recovered back. It is showing actually a positive return of 4.32%. Palantir is one of those companies that we really uh, are happy to maintain. It, we've made actually a video on it and talked about in detail what Palantir Technologies company is all about, what uh, field and business they are in, and why we feel that it has a, a positive uh, outlook ahead of it. And as a result, we're happy to maintain it. Don't intend to buy it necessarily a lot more unless it has a, a larger pullback and perhaps gets into a negative territory in terms of return for us. In that case, we might continue to buy to take advantage of the dollar cost averaging. Pizza Pizza is one of our recent additions. It's fairly stayed stagnant at the price since the price that we bought it for. The five shares, it's showing a 0.28% return, fairly small return, but it is a monthly dividend paying Canadian company, and we are happy with that. I think with Pizza Pizza, it's actually hovering close to its 52 week high price. As a result, we don't intend to buy at this time, unless it has some major pullback that hovers in negative territory at the time, we might add to our shares of Pizza Pizza. Qualcomm, we own eight shares, and it is now showing a 11.22% return. Real Matters is one of those companies we have major number of shares. We have 156 shares here in our tax savings account. We also own some shares of Real Matters. Uh, it's one of those companies we made a video on here in this channel. Profit making company overall, they're doing quite well. The stock has not done uh, the greatest. It's showing a 3.34% return, but I'm very confident and bullish in Real Matters. And that's why I'm maintaining my shares. I really um, am looking for Real Matters in the next one to two years to actually be able to go back to its 52 week price, which is almost double the price that it is traded at now. So um, planning to hold on to it and if have any major pullbacks, might actually continue to buy more and add to our, my shares of real matters, which is listed on Toronto Stock Exchange. Royalty Pharma, we own 30 shares now. We added one more share here and it is now showing a negative 8% return. Royal Bank of Canada, we own five shares of this major Canadian bank. It is showing a positive return of 26%. Toronto Dominion Bank, another Canadian bank. It is showing a positive return of 25%, which is very decent. For the Canadian banks, they've almost hit their 52-week high prices. So as a result of that, we don't want to necessarily um, you know, pull the trigger or add any more shares. We're confident with the number of shares we have at this time. But if they have some pullbacks, major pullbacks that... Uh, you know, take some distance from their 52 week high prices, we might gradually add to our shares of uh, Canadian banks. They're solid dividend pairs, and um, we believe it would be a great addition in any uh, stock investment portfolio, especially if you're interested in solid dividend income, passive income coming into your portfolio for the years to come. Vanguard FTSE Canadian Capped REIT Index. It is uh, our exposure um, to REIT or Real Estate Investment Trust. We have 12 shares. It's showing a positive return of 14%. Verizon, we have 10 shares and it's showing a positive return of 1.35%. It's a dividend paying company. And the, the, the stock return has not been the greatest as you can see at this stage, but we are going to maintain that and this US dollar investment into our personal account. BlackRock Canada iShares Canadian Select Dividend Index ETF, dividend paying ETF, XDV. It is showing 27.56%, very decent return for us for our five shares that we own. And lastly, we have XIT. We own 16 shares of this BlackRock Canada iShares SP TSX Cap Information Technology Index ETF. This ETF has actually been one of those ETFs that if you looked at some of their past returns, it's been amazing returns, like uh, double digit solid dividends. But most recently with the pullbacks in the information technology stocks, they actually um, even hovered through the negative territory for our holdings, but gradually they're recovering back. Right now it's showing 3.92% return for our 16 shares, but we want to actually gradually add back to our shares of XIT, um, especially if you see some larger pullbacks. As you reference in my overview, I reference quite a bit uh, to pullbacks because for us, we don't like to necessarily buy stocks or ETF and their stock prices actually continue to go up, but rather we wanted to take advantage of those 
market pullbacks and the stock price or ETFs is actually kind of cooling off and take advantage of that and gradually add to our shares, taking advantage of dollar cost averaging. That's really our overall approach. You might have noticed that we don't have any more shares of Blink. That was one of our holdings in our portfolio and we managed to sell it at slight profit. All right, so let us here go back to our uh, portfolio here and take a look at what uh, transactions we've had here. Maybe we can take a look and focus first on our uh, stock sales. Just to quickly show you for our personal account, we had our shares of NLC or Neolithium Corporation. We managed to sell them at a slight uh, profit, not the greatest, I would say around seven to 8%, but it had actually quite uh, gone up this past week drastically. At one point we were at decent negative territory. So wanted to really dump this one and take it, to get out of it at a slight positive return. So we see that we sold it. And um, what else? We also sold, as I mentioned two weeks ago, um, our Blink shares at the price of $34 USC. Those were at the limit of our sales. So we're trying to kind of trim some of our gains and limit the holdings that we have in our portfolio. In terms of our buys though, it's a totally different story. We've been adding um, you know, heavily to our holdings, starting off by some of our limit buy orders these are the ones that not have been fulfilled but the limit buy orders that we have in our wealth simple trade so in, in in the spirit of transparency i'm gonna quickly show you show those to you you can see what we have all right but here is where we actually managed to buy these ones you notice we bought uh, today one share of hcln at the price of 14 dollars 25 cents eagb we bought at the price of 21 and 19 EARK at the price of 19 and 80. HCLN, one we bought at 14.24. We bought one also at 14.22. Uh, if you go hover down, we bought also one at 14.28. We bought a couple more of Emerge ETFs, EAGB, EARK, another EAGB. We also bought, as I mentioned, Royalty Pharma, the one share that we added at the price of 49 and 48. Um, this is actually in Canadian dollars, but if you look at the USD price, it was at $40.42 US dollars. We bought one share of uh, NLC at the price of $248 as well. As you can see, we sold it for a higher price uh, earlier on, as I mentioned to you, uh, and continue to add more shares of HCLN, even cheaper, $14.07, EARK, EAFD, EAGB, EARK, and we had one order for pounds here that actually expired and didn't get fulfilled. And from here onwards, you're hovering over to the last week that we already talked about. So those are in terms of our uh, actually stock buys. Let me take a look at whether we've had any deposits here, just transparently showing to you. you notice that we haven't had any new deposit into this account since April, so no new deposit nor any withdrawals. Um, we haven't withdrawn money from our account whatsoever. We haven't, that's not really our intention. The whole goal here is to actually grow this account. But let's us take a look at our dividends and whether we've had any dividend income over the span of the past week. And you notice our last dividend was actually uh, for the previous week, which was for Royal uh, Bank of Canada. And we haven't had any new dividend income coming in this week. Uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it for the week ahead or any dividend income that might come later in the day or just before the start of the next week over the weekend. Uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it and keep you posted as we go. There you have it, folks, a quick review of our uh, stock investment portfolio challenge that we have with Bell Simple Trade and really the goal of growing this account from a mere $5,000 all the way to a quarter of a million dollars. I would love to hear from you and know what stocks or ETFs you are investing in the stock market right now. Uh, do you own any of similar stocks or ETFs in your portfolio? What other stocks are you investing in or adding to your watches at this time? Be sure to leave us a comment down below and let us know uh, what those might be and let us know what your thoughts are. I hope you found this video beneficial and gained something of value from it. If you did, please, please don't forget to subscribe to Momentum channel and to stay connected with us and follow us on our journey here in terms of investing in the stock market, real estate and crypto, as well as getting to that financial freedom and financial planning. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.